Hello. Allow me to transport you back to 1986. Some of us can just remember 1986. The Chernobyl explosion, the bombing of the Berlin discotheque, the Challenger shuttle disintegrated after 70-odd seconds in flight or something. There was a lot of boom in 1986, but it wasn't all bad. Music. It was my era for music. Madonna was topping the charts. George Michael, Queen, just to name a few. This game is going to take us back to 1986. So I wonder if there's going to be any rah-rah skirts, neon lighting, and how many leg warmers will we spot? Join me. Let's start the leg warmer count. I was born a little bit before 1986, but I do remember 1986 and I loved it. The music and everything. I actually like her jumper. I want this jumper. I remember PCs like this. How cool is this? Telephone. Hello? Hi. Steve, I uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Her jumper oh, matches her awesome. eyes. I feel so bad. She's coordinated. I'm liking this lady. Party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great. And Mike fell so she cool. didn't get invited to the oh, party. Boy got really sick. No way. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And no, Roy, uh, wait, ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. You know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. I don't like Steve. We're off to Thanks Oregon, so people. Up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. She's got a nice jumper. Well, I like and cho a choice of jumpers. Today. I'm sure you'll I need do to get right. my jumpers out now. It's officially winter. Why don't we deliver some chuffing cold enough beautiful little lake town let's and do it me the ropes sure all right then get ready to her roll. eyes her eyes have changed color they're now the same color as her coat she's got those type of eyes that change color with whatever she wears i like that and there's our first stop okay sir what's the plan delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes take this really bag. Walk to the mailbox and insert the mail. Oh, got to get out of the truck. Right, so we've got this tiny little bag. The little village then, right? She's got a certain way of her walk. I like her walk. I just deliver the mail. a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Talking about is he having a go because I'm going slowly. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Ooh. Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived oh. at our next address. It's All a right. package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. All right, Frank, I'll do that. You just sit on your bum and drive me around. Don't you worry, sir. Meredith has got a bit of sassiness with her walk. Look, sassiness. I like in the walk there, Meredith. Loving the sassiness. We've only got the one parcel to choose from. Was it this house? I presume it was this house. Do you know what I really like about watching baseball? Not missing the first pitch. Is that him telling me I have to hurry up? Is Frank being sarcastic? 
Nope. No answer. Phew. Finally done. Meredith, that wasn't hard, love. Frank can shove it. More Just important that we chat. I will Frank. A game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. I think Frank's in a hurry to get to the baseball, but I'm busy talking to chat. Frank, you'll have to suck it up, my friend. RT to walk faster. Meredith, that's really not that much of a walk. A faster walk. Can I get in this car? Can we do that? Can we steal things? No. Oh, it just transported so, me. Where were we? Computers. <laughs> Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Right, the can't wait. Is right around the corner. Look at Frank's arms. They're super hairy. Super hairy Frank. I wonder if Frank's got a hairy back. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. All right, Frank. I get it. What time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Bye, Frank. Enjoy your game. Goodbye. Walk to the front door. All right. So when he said there's another delivery just round the corner, he meant me. He was delivering me. What have we got here then? This is our parents' house. We have a dog? Can't read that. What does that say? Binky. Dog called Binky. We have a swing. Nice. She's a little bit old for the swing. Do we have young children living here now? Let's go into our parents' house then. Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. The Florida weather is oh, all they said. Oh, look at that. Be. They're in Florida. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Bye, Mom. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, the I creepy didn't boss. To say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just I don't like Steve. Or am I? Steve, I don't like uh, you. you. Meredith, later. let's resign. Let's resign, Meredith. I don't like Steve. Not only did you work Labor Day weekend while he was off having a jolly, he's now bugging you while you're on holiday. Let's resign. Stay in good morning, Meredith. wherever we are. For your first day? Oh, good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Yawn. That's not very positive, is it? I was Frank and my new employee was yawning and said, I guess, good morning. I'd be like, uh-oh. Then we'll go positive. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be Maybe a road. little bit overzealous, but the mailbag in the okay. Truck, so you're good to go. Frank's eyes oh, oh, match his his you. uniform. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. I shall need that. Yes, we'll definitely need the map. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Merci. Walk to the cabin truck cabin door. Uh, is that this thing? Yes. I thought that. That looked like it was just going to drop from the sky. RB to open and close the map. Oh, we got fast travel. Hi, Groovy. Hide the list. Show the list. All right, we'll just go down the road first of all. That's pretty straightforward. Even I can manage that. Here. Okay, so I need to get out. And what number is this? Oh, it's a part. Oh, I see. It's got like a little picture, so it's a parcel as opposed to a picture of a letter. Run some people over in a minute. I'll do that, no worries. So, what number is it? I don't know. We're on Main Street? I think we're on Main Street. Remind them that the government institutions still rule. This is not GTA. <laughs> Hello? Can I give it to you, General Store Clerk? Can I help you? 
Is this a cigarette? Oh, here's Look at that. Mail. Hello. Mm, new and down. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy what? Reagan. So now you're back, huh? What? So I take it her I name's like Nancy. It. Actually, this is only temporary. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. Can't be smoking these days, love. Not in the shop. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh, Nancy, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? Okay. <laughs> it's very dramatic, does our Nancy? Like that is our first parcel delivered, people. I feel like really we should be more like Hermes drivers, and we just dump them wherever we feel like it. Oh, of course it's America. Wait, wrong side of the road. Actually enjoying this. Hang on, I'm gonna have a look at the lake. We want to see the lake. Can we get out? Oops. See, here is the lake. Aha! Voila! The lake. Right, on the right hand side of the road. I presume this is reverse. Look at that. Yes, we found the lake. Game over. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> as I understand it, as we start delivering mail and post and things, stories unfold. There's more to it than just delivering post. Can we get in this side or do we have to go all the way around? Oh no, we can. Nice. I'm going to make this is going to be like a Hermes delivery or DPD. We're going to block the road and get out and deliver the mail. That's what they Love do. That. Just block the whole road and get out and deliver. This is a parcel, 200 Lake Road. Oh, teddy bear thing. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. There are a lot of cats here. There's even one on the roof. It's the crazy cat lady. Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Hi, Miss Jenkins. I'm Meredith. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used Meryl? to live in town years Meredith. And years yeah, I'm going to correct her. It's Meredith. Yeah. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? How could I ever forget? So, of course you're the cat lady. How could I forget? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll go with you in the middle. We don't want to be rude to our customers. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Ooh, all right. So Hold your knickers on, love. Slightly more of them than I used to. Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? <sighs> yes, here you go. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm not going to agree with her. I'm not going to get involved in your domestics, love. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Or, well, anyway, got to run. We'll go with the middle one. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just I don't busy. know if we need to have That's the residents on side yet or not. That's probably what you say Ooh, to poor Emily. Miss too. Jenkins. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Our eyes have changed colour again. Right, where to next? Yes, we have created a little bit of a traffic jam. Oh look, even an accident maybe. I do believe has this vehicle gone into the back of the lorry? <laughs> it's driving through. The vehicle is driving through the lorry. Look at this people, it's magic. Magic, I say. Where is it going? Where are you going? Are you all right there, sir? <laughs> a 
It's going to come out the other side, isn't it? It's going to come out the other side and drive off. What if we come around this way? Yes, he is. It's, uh, what's his name? Magnum. Magnum P.I. <laughs> it's going to drive right through the trailer. I think he's stopped now. I think Magnum P.I. has stopped. Brilliant. That's just brilliant. Love it. Right, let's get back to the car. I've created a little bit of a problem. Can I get in here? Is we get in? No. We can't take other vehicles, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. There goes the lorry. And there goes our Magnum. See you later, Magnum. You guys remember Magnum? Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Put you back into it, love. You'll be right. Let's give it to this lady. Hi there. Hello. I got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The, the goose? goose? Yes, quite. Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Okay, well, Thomas is my father, well, so Thomas suck is that my up. Father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. Yeah, Providence and Oaks. I have to get back to work now. All right. I suppose you may drive the goose. Oh, thanks. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, as you're the only mechanic, I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. There's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack. We'll go with this one. We don't want to be too rude because we don't know, one, if he's a lumberjack, and two, if he's secluded. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. All right. What the? I don't know. Would that be too nosy? All right, I'll leave it to you then. Have a nice day. I'll leave oh, you no, it. you wanted the other one, didn't you? Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's not your fault. This is full of bull crap. You pick the next one, and I'll try and select the correct answer. Now, Robert's going to think we're completely insensitive and don't care. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Well, things change, Meredith, in 22 years. Oh, hello, Maureen. Live and breathe. Let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. Huh? And the occasional gray hair. Haven't we all? Oh my gosh. It's you, all right. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. I feel is the appropriate response. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. Oh, I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. Absolutely. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. I think we should. We've delivered all the mail, I believe. We've got this as our last stop for the day. And I, I think we should stay and have one quick drink. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, hon. Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Always a little bird. Goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you. I will not take no for an answer. Do you have any decent tea? It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee. I'm not right. sure I wanted to be 17 again, though, to be honest. Pie, if I remember correctly, you had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. If it's free, I would always take it if it's free. You know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. 
That's a little presumptuous, love. Been gone 22 years. And Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley's stuck in the in the freeze department. No, Ashley's not. Ashley's on fire. Ashley's on fire. Is everything okay, hon? Ashley is on fire. Go sort him out, Maureen. Oh, Lord have mercy. No offense, Maureen. But I'm gonna back away slowly. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. See, I would go with that didn't sound good, which is a way of saying, go sort that shit out, love. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Don't be a stranger now. Okay, Maureen. Catch you later. Maybe that's it. Yes, Prophet. I think you're right. Maybe she's got Ashley tied up. And he's just tried to break free. And he's knocked off the hob something that was cooking. And set fire to something else in so doing. And so Maureen realises this is what's happening. So obviously has to go and sort it out. And can't have a coffee with Meredith. So maybe it's like a sex dungeon in the kitchen. And she's got all the customers that she's taken a fancy to. She's she's given them a blueberry pie, but the blueberry pie is laced with something. And then they go all weak at the knees and can't really move very well. So she drags them into the kitchen, ties them up and keeps them there. Well, who knows how long? And then when she's had her fill, she chops them up and puts them in a pie. Look at that, we're making our own story up here. Although it might be true, who knows? I have absolutely no idea what this story is about. It could be. <laughs> that got dark quick. <laughs> right, anyway, so we're going to leave Maureen to her sex dungeon. And we're going back to our van and back to the post office. Here we are, back at the post office. Oh, we've gone back home. Tuesday evening. The phone rings. Oh, it's great, Mother. We don't want to worry her. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Ah, oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Hang on, is only gone for two weeks, or is he not coming back? I can imagine that. How is Dad? I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, oh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coin. Oh, Mum doesn't sound too happy. Dad's ordering a margarita again. Oh, yes, please. Soon. Been a long time since I had a cocktail. So this is where I'm going to end today's recording. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so. It's free and then you'll know when I next upload a video. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.